The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use your printer and freezer paper to create templates you can use on felt to cut out the outline of patterns. There are several advantages to using this method. You can print an image directly onto the freezer paper so there is no tracing involved. You can reuse the freezer paper image several times. And the adhesion of the freezer paper to the felt is strong, so it does not move when you go to cut out the pattern. Freezer paper comes in two formats. You can buy it on the roll, and you can buy it pre-cut in 8.5 by 11 inch sheets. Both can be found on Amazon, and both work equally well. No matter the format, freezer paper has a shiny side and a matte side. You print and use the iron on the matte side. You want the shiny side next to the felt when you go to iron. To get started, pull out your pre-cut sheets or cut your roll into 8.5 by 11 sheets. Be sure to cut them as straight as possible. Bring up your image on the computer. Place the freezer paper in the paper drawer with the matte side facing the direction that will be printed on. Use your regular printer settings. You can choose grayscale to save on color printer ink if your image is in color. Hit print. Confirm your printed image is the size you want it to be. Cut the image out from the freezer paper, but leave some border around the edges. Prepare your felt by ironing the felt. While it is still slightly warm, lay the image on the freezer paper down with the shiny side of the paper touching the felt. Iron with a warm iron. You can check adhesion by checking the corner. If it is adhered well, you should be in good shape. Cutting to the outside of the line, cut your image out. Once it is completely cut out, pull the freezer paper off the felt. If you need to do any trimming, it is a bit easier to do while the freezer paper is still adhered. And that's how to use your printer and freezer paper to create templates you can use on felt to cut out the outline of patterns.